Hello, my YouTube family. It is the day before Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Eve, and they let us out at 3 o'clock. And it is, I don't know what time it is, but I think it's almost 4, four o'clock, if not already 4 or after 4. Um, I had things to do after work, people. You got to go to the bank. You got to get the car gassed up for tomorrow's trip. You got to, you know. So that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, I'm trying to keep my composure because this piece of crap that I have on my lips is La Garbaggio. It's, the thing is, I had done a lip look on it before and it had disappointed me then. You would have thought I threw it away then. <clears throat> but it by then, it was a new purchase. Now, I mean, I'm all for a nude look, but a no, no not even near nude look. Let me just tell you what it is. First of all, I line my lips lightly with <clears throat> NYX Rose Brown lined. Trying to fill, trying to fill my lips with a company called 100%. 100% fruit pigments plus 83% vitamin E, 100% natural juicy lip gloss. BS. Okay, because juicy nothing, lip gloss, where's the gloss? It smells like cherries, which is a wonderful thing. But the name of the color is pink caramel. Now, maybe on a person who's, you know, got a lighter skin tone, it might show up on them. Maybe it's my, my lips are too pigmented. But I've been doing this all damn day, for real. And um, do you see something? Because if you do, please let me know. Maybe I need to get my glasses changed, which I actually do. But I, I'm not blind. Do, do you see something? Tell me if you see something. And if you do see something, what do you see? Describe it to me because I... So as soon as I'm done telling you about the madness, this is going in Largo Baggio. And it's one of the lip glosses. So it's 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 already one down because I have to do my lip gloss purging. That'll be for another day. I don't know. Don't ask me when. But I'm purging it early. Okay. Don't even have to toss it back in there. It's gone. Gone. Okay. So that's basically it in a nutshell, people. Monday was relaxing. Tuesday was relaxing. <sighs> Tomorrow is the family. Why is it the older you get, family gets more stressful to be around? You love them dearly. I love my family. Love my family. Don't get it twisted. Love them. But, you know, when you're a kid, you don't realize the, the family drama. And then when you get older, you know, you get... Whispers of things of your family members that, oh, damn, I didn't know that. You know. And then it starts to be, you know, who's your boyfriend and blah, blah, blah. And this, this, and that. And do you have one? And are you looking? And I'm past the whole, you know, are you getting married? They don't bother me with that anymore. It's like, just leave her alone. She's past her, her birth age, her birth giving age. So, and she ain't got no man. So. They can call me the spinster of the family if they want to. I really don't care. But I do love my family. <laughs> don't get it twisted. I really, I love them to death. There's nothing like family. You just can't pick them. It's unfortunate. We can't pick them. You know, if I really wanted to be, if I had to choose a family, right now, since I'm watching um, Manzoed, do you all watch that on, on Bravo? I missed a few episodes. But um, Carolyn Manzo and her family, because she used to be on Real Housewives of New Jersey, Carolyn. Yeah, I like her family a lot. I'm sure they would have nothing to do with me. But if there was a family I could choose, that would be one. Um, I don't know. I, I don't I don't really know any other family. The Huxtable family. <laughs> but then we could we should, should we even discuss that? Because Bill Cosby is in a hell of a lot of trouble. And do you all realize that all the women that are coming out and have caused, uh, and that he's caused grief to and assaulted and all of this, all of them are white. Just putting it out there. 
I, you know, maybe you could say it's, um, Nancy's playing the race card, but it's the truth. Because, you know, back in the 70s, I hate to say it, but back in the 70s, women were hard. Black women in, in particular took no baloney. Okay, so maybe he tried to get get away with something with a black woman, but she was having nothing about it. I'm just saying some other kinds of women are a little bit more gullible. I don't know. I'm just saying. You know, he's Cosby and all of that. Some fall for the hype. Some can see right through it. So, yeah. And oh, I got an itch in the back of my neck. It's just, it's driving me crazy. Sorry. Um, then there's the whole Ferguson madness. Ferguson, Missouri madness. And the cop is not indicted. And I came back today. Okay. Now I know Monday, everybody was heated. It's, it's like certain co-workers of mine, because we've been following the story, certain co-workers of mine were waiting for me to come back. They were just like waiting. All in my desk, all just talking about it and just you getting upset. And I have my opinion about the whole situation. They have their opinion about the whole situation. Then we come together and we we, we have mutual opinions about it. It's, it's, it's a very heated situation. It's a very heated situation. You have your, you know, some are pro cop, some are pro Michael. I, I, but I'm not even going to get into the discussion. All I know is there were a couple of uh, co workers who were like, Where the hell were you on Monday? And blah, blah, blah. And did you see the indictment? Yeah. Or lack thereof. Here is my thing, and I think I'm going to not say anything more after this about it. Black people, I know my peoples, when we disagree about something or we feel unjust about something, because let's face it, in the history of the world, blacks have always gotten the short end of the stick. I'm just saying. When injustice is, is done to us, I don't understand why you go in the streets and you destroy your own community. I can understand you being angry. You have every right to be angry. But why are you destroying your neighbor's store? Why are you burning down a car that belonged to the son of your best friend? Why, why are you doing that? Why? Okay, you want to show your rage? You can do that. I'm not saying go go to another neighborhood and destroy their their property. Why do you why do you have to destroy anything? You want to protest? Block traffic. That's what they did in here in New York. Nobody threw bottles. Nobody broke into stores. Blocked a hell of a lot of traffic though. If you want to make a point. I don't know what it's going to, I don't know if that's going to resolve anything because at the end of the day, a boy is still dead and a cop is free. It's, it's basic. Is it not the truth? A boy is still dead. A cop is free. The boy is black. The cop is white. Now, you know, Trayvon Martin and Michael, they probably up there, you know, having themselves a good old time because they're, they're free from the oppression of life. And I'm not saying that this boy was an angel. Nobody's saying that. I mean, they even showed you the video of him stealing cigars or whatever ha have you. And he was a big ass boy. <laughs> big boy. I'm not saying he was an angel at all. But um, it really took seven bullets to shoot his ass? Really? Two, three didn't do it for you? You, you had to shoot literally six or seven times. For real? Is something wrong with your bullets? D One bullet can't kill somebody? You, you Six times. Really? <sighs> okay. I don't want to get on the whole negative thing a day before Thanksgiving. But you know what? Tomorrow, 
when my family stands around the dinner table and we hold hands and we each go around talking about what are we thankful for, I'm going to just say life and my family. Because the, what else can I say? I am thankful for my family. My father's still here. Amen. My cat, who seems to have ignored me now. And, uh, you know, I'm thankful for a roof over my head, food in my stomach, a job. I'm thankful. I mean, the conversation as we're eating or whatever may turn into the whole Ferguson thing. And who knows, I may even start it. Y'all know me. Just, you know, eating chicken and we talking and blah, blah, blah. Did anybody see the indictment of Ferguson? Let me just open up my mouth and say that tomorrow. And, and I already see certain family members already going like this. Oh, Lord, here she go. I can either make you laugh. I can make you think. I can. I don't want to make you cry. I definitely don't want to do that. I can make you angry, though. I don't want to do that, though. I don't want to make you angry. I mean, if I do bring it up, let's just say I do bring it up. And, uh, you know, a superior adult, even though I am an adult, but, you know, aunts, uncles. If they say, Nancy, we really don't want to talk about that. Squashed, baby, squashed. Don't worry about it. But know that it's out there. Know that it's happening. I just, you know, just throwing it out there for conversation's sake. But it is a day that maybe we shouldn't really be thinking or not thinking about it, talking about it. Or maybe we should. Who the hell knows? In any event, that's it, people. I'm not saying anymore. I'm, I'm tired. I am tired. Even after having two days off, I'm still tired. Um, Because I'm bloated. Do I have to say anymore? That's it. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. I want each and every one of you to have a fantastic, sensational, safe, warm, happy Thanksgiving. And I will see you on Monday because you won't see me tomorrow. You won't see me on Friday. You won't see me on Saturday. You won't see me on Sunday. So you will see me on Monday. Oh, look who decided to come back in. Of course, I'm going to say goodbye to you, and that's when he's going to hop on the bed. He does that now. I don't understand. He doesn't want to be the center of attention anymore. And he's... Would you please? Would you please? Oh, he's gotten into, like, taking things, tossing things off tables. I mean, I love him, though. I love him my life. In any event, that's it, people. I don't even know if you want to discuss this. This piece of crap right here. I got it at All Cosmetics Wholesale. This piece of crap right here. I'm just saying. Pink caramel. It's a nice shade and everything. If you could see it. It looks nice in the tube. But where is it? Okay, that's all. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. If you think of anything at all. Or if you want to discuss about the whole Ferguson situation, lay it on me. I love you. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye now.